Okay, what I would like to do with this tutorial is start off by creating a really simple effects module uh, that simply turns on uh, the level of the channel to 100. Um, and then once we have that down, we can uh, expand it to take some user input on uh, what level the user would like to set that channel or that group of channels to. Um, and then after that, we'll move on to a much more involved um, effect, which actually, in our case, it will resemble a fade in the previous uh, versions of Vixen. So let's go ahead and create a project. Uh, let's just call this. Uh, we're going to start off with our descriptor class, but what I like to do is just name the first class what our project is going to be called uh, the reason I like to do that is you will see when this opens up that will become the name of our namespace so the first thing we need to do is add a reference to Vixen um, like I said before I'm gonna run through this part pretty darn quick uh, because uh, this is pretty much just a review of what we covered in the output module tutorial. Okay, so now we have our reference to Vixen. Let's change the name of this class. This will be our module descriptor class. So, uh, effect descriptor. Uh, do we want to rename it all? Yes, we do. Now we have that renamed. So let's go ahead and save our project so that we can go in and change our project so that when we build it, it'll build it to the uh, Vixen 3 uh, folder. So build, and let's put the output path to our... Vixen 3, we need to put it under modules and effect. So click OK. Save that again. And we are ready to start programming. Our workspace is set up. Uh, now the first thing you'll need is to set up some using namespaces. So we're going to be using Vixen in this. We are going to be using uh, vixen dot module dot effect and we are also going to be using uh, vixen dot commands now if we go into the object browser if we browse down to our vixen dot module dot effect and expand that you'll see here are our base classes so for this one for the descriptor we want to uh, inherit from the effect module descriptor base so let's go ahead and do that colon uh, effect module descriptor base and then let's implement that class And then let's just fill in these simple things. Uh, remember from the last tutorial, um, whatever this type is here is what we will be returning. So let's return, put your name in, uh, the description of our module is return effect. Uh, module tutorial our effect name let's just call it effect tutorial return effect tutorial okay module class we don't have that yet so we'll skip it for now uh, the GUID we need to create a GUID so let's create a new GUID and then let's get our GUID from our 
squid generator tool uh, set it to registry format copy it to the clipboard and then we can just paste it in there now you do have to get rid of these little squiggly lines and put it in quotes um, and then it should um, accept it oops I forgot to type return and I am missing a parenthesis I'm if you remember from the last tutorial my typing is not that great so um, so the type name let's just return uh, effect tutorial and the version is uh, return 1.0.0.0 okay and that's it for our descriptor um, so let's cut it off there um, and then in the next part we will create our instance class let's go ahead and save